Hello again. So now I'd like to talk a little bit about why we care about quantum mechanics, just very briefly again. Well, we're motivated by understanding electron flow, and we're after a charge density at this point. And the number of electrons in, uh, per atom multiplied by some density, which is the number of atoms per volume from crystal structure, does not equal the number of electrons that are available for conduction. And we need quantum mechanics to begin to describe some of this. And the way uh, you, you start looking at that is where you break out a crystal, say, into a periodic structure like this. So this is a pictogram of a hypothetical, simple crystal, cubic. And um, if uh, you had a, a classical particle moving through, like a skier or something, or billiard balls, Newton and mechanics would be fine, but uh, really what an electron sees, it sees a potential that is generated by the core uh, of the atoms. And in the simplest of all pictures, we might interpret that like a square, where an electrons are confined in the bucket uh, around the atoms, and maybe some electrons are confined, and other electrons might move above these buckets and they can move freely. So there's a distinction between bound electrons that are tightly bound to the cores and maybe loosely bound and then, then very weakly bound and can flow. And they could flow through the structure freely. And we need to understand what it means for electrons to move through, freely through the structure. Given all of that, they are quantum mechanical waves, they're quantum mechanical particles, and that is why we need quantum mechanics overall. So that would give us the number of states that are available. We still have to deal with the occupation and the filling of these states. And I had alluded to the pictogram of maybe an apartment building of states where the bottom floors are, are kind of full and they get uh, less and less occupied as you go up in energy. And that's going to be a temperature dependent distribution. So we'll talk about that in, in further chapters down the line and in the textbook. So, so the, the key element here really is um, we, we had kind of highlighted the origin of quantum mechanics and uh, uh, what, what prompted the, uh, were ex this were experimental observations that electrons are quantum mechanical particles and they're quantum mechanical waves. And uh, we need to understand quantum mechanics to, to interpret um, their motion in these crystals. And, um, and we can, uh, in the next section, I'll show how the Schrodinger equation can arise from the consequences of quantization and relativity. And in the next section, five and six, we'll be calculating some uh, concrete examples of uh, quantum mechanical problems. With that, uh, we're ending section 4.3, and in the next one, I'll show a very brief formulation of the Schrodinger equation. So, thank you.